Get to that holiday rush, and this is an early gift. Live video of LaGuardia Airport where things seem to be running smoothly. Like how that sounds across the country, the TSA says it screened nearly 2.7 million travelers just yesterday, and we're expecting today to be the 10th day in a row that more than 2 million people travel through U.S. airports. Early reports seem like they are handling it at the airports. Eyewitness News reporter Anthony Carlo live at LaGuardia with more on the holiday travel rush. Anthony, what's it looking like right now? Oh, Dave, Lauren, good news, right? That's good stuff to hear. You guys know it's a crucial time to get to go where you need to go. I spoke to one mother from Jersey who's visiting her son in Oklahoma City. He's in the Air Force as well as his wife, and this might be the last time that mom gets to see her son in a while because he's going to be moving around. So it's important for her, of course, to have a smooth flight, and things are actually looking pretty good right now. She's got reason to be, it'll be exactly that. You see a calm situation, Dave, as you mentioned, at LaGuardia Airport. One worker just described for me a ghost town here right now uh, compared to last year. But, you know, things are sure to pick up. People are getting here early to go through TSA. And interestingly enough, airlines have canceled only 1.2% of U.S. flights this year. That's the lowest in five years. The TSA is expected to screen 2.5 million travelers today. Travelers are being urged to arrive two to three hours before departure to ensure that things go smoothly and they make their flights. Air travel continues to be on the rebound. U.S. Airlines predicting a blockbuster travel season with far fewer delays so far. Airlines are confident they can handle the crowds. Today is the peak of holiday travel. They've hired thousands of pilots, flight attendants, and workers to be able to manage all of it, and they've got a lot to prove this year after last year's debacle. Of course, you remember Southwest stranding two million people. Some travelers, though, are still a little bit skeptical that things will go very smoothly. I don't know how confident I am in that. Um, I do travel a lot, not unfortunately not so much to my family, but just to get out of the city. And um, it seems like there's been a lot of cancellations, a lot of um, moving of the times and not being cognizant of like everything else. It's the, all the moving parts that go into the travel. Um, so, I mean, that sounds great, but I'll be surprised if it's carried out. We're headed to Oklahoma City to see my son, who's in the Air Force, and his wife, who's also in the Air Force. Um, they got married back in June, and we're traveling to see them and meet our new in-laws, and we're all staying together in Oklahoma City and getting to know each other. So they obviously have a big holiday week coming up. It is exciting, but right now a live look here at LaGuardia, again, pretty empty. I mean, good news, people still coming in. We expect this to pick up throughout the uh, day today. S Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg has warned that airlines will be held accountable if there are not smooth trips to make sure that passengers are doing just fine, even with any disruptions. And you know what? I just checked the average wait time to pass through security here at LaGuardia right now, five minutes. It's a dream for a traveler. We're live at LaGuardia.